Uh, my name is uh, Shreelil Dhari. I'm from the U.S., uh, predominantly out of New York. My company, I'm the CEO and founder of a company, a uh, romance travel platform called Love You, spelled L-O-V-U, which is the abbreviated text version of I Love You. Uh, it's the only platform of its kind that actually allows uh, people who are celebrating uh, celebratory romantic trips like weddings, honeymoons, anniversary, vow renewals, um, these types of trips, we are basically removing the middleman uh, from the equation. Companies like online travel companies that provide really no value, true value to this particular type of traveler, they provide a lot of value but not to this particular segment, um, where we're actually helping these couples to curate their experience directly with the experience providers, which are the hotels and the destinations and or find a travel specialist that specialize either in the destination or in that romantic type of trip to actually help them curate that experience. So it's, a, it's a basically a romance travel marketplace platform for couples who are booking celebratory milestone travel events and trips. That's basically what Love You is about. Great, Shri. And so welcome to Caribbean Travel Forum. <laughs> um, would love you to kind of share some some insights that you could kind of give to our readers about sort of what trends and behaviors mm -hmm. you're seeing mm -hmm. um that perhaps either the same or different sort of post pandemic and mm -hmm. in this market absolutely uh romance is big business i mean there's romance travel is very big business for a lot of um, major tourism destinations in the u.s in general since the pandemic uh, especially when it kind of relates to the wedding industry uh, a lot of couples kind of postponed their weddings over the pandemic because you couldn't get together as a group, um, you know, for the obvious reasons. Um, when the pandemic sort of um, was over, it's still not over, but with the recovery part of it and uh, the venues start opening up, uh, couples in general start rushing to book their, uh, their wedding events, especially in the U.S. market. All the venues were an influx of, of brides uh, just trying to book their their venues couldn't find available space because everyone is booked up. As a matter of fact, they ran out of Wednesdays. <laughs> they were, they're, not, they're actually now doing Tuesdays, right? And even Mondays, people are having. So the biggest trend right now is, I guess, people are are are, are going away abroad for destination weddings. It's always destination weddings always been a huge market, but even more so now than ever, especially with the inventory issue in the in the in the venue space. And, and not only that, people are trying to get like a very smaller gathering of important guests to their wedding. It's not as huge and massive as it used to be anymore, although there's a great percentage that are still, still, still very big out there. So one of the biggest trends we're seeing really is just that the wedding abroad uh, market is just booming right now. And the Caribbean is actually one of the, the number one destinations for especially the U.S. traveler when it comes to uh, destination weddings. Um, and obviously there's, there's, there's some islands that get more share, share than others, um, like, you know, St. Lucia and Jamaica and the Dominican Republic and, you know, and some Mexico countries. But um, destination weddings, huge trend. Everyone takes a honeymoon, huge trend. You cannot tell your girl you're not going to take her on a honeymoon, right? Um, over 99% of people will actually go on a honeymoon. So these are markets that, no matter how bad the economy is, where everything's the world, um, you can always count on romance. You know, uh, it's it's a recession resilient market, especially weddings and honeymoons. So yeah, that's what we're seeing. What yeah. are consumers looking for from a destination or from a property now? I mean, it's all about the experience. You know, it's all about um, value for the dollar. You know, um, uh, sun, sand, beach, surf has always been very popular. Um, but in terms of the destination, it's about value for the money. Um, can my guests? Is there enough activities for my guests to actually enjoy themselves as well? Um, you know, it's 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 not just about the, the the couple. It's when it comes to weddings, but it's more about the overall um, value for the money and how to and getting there. You know, time time traveled and things like that. Yeah. And finally, what would be your sort of number one tip to a bride or groom kind of starting to kind of plan their their future kind of special day? Oh my God! Well, if if you're a bride, a uh, couple getting married, um, generally you're not really thinking about the honeymoon right away, except if you're going away for a destination wedding because you want to find that venue. Some of the major first decisions, obviously, are about is about the dress, <laughs> about the location. You generally don't start planning for your honeymoon until about seven to eight months from the wedding date, and then you kind of book you book your honeymoon uh, maybe three to four months out. Um, so it's a long planning cycle. I would say shortlist. 
the top destinations that you want. Use a platform like Love You to actually curate the right hotels and request direct offers directly from the hotels or find a travel advisor who will get you the sweetest deal that you will not be able to find on your own or through any online travel providers um, because, you know, they have the insights and knowledge on, on how under relationship on how best to, uh, to to find that right experience for you. Yeah. Okay, folks, you heard it from the man himself. <laughs> Thank you, Shree. My pleasure. Thank you for the time. Take care.